What's up, my peeps? Time to go to sleep. However, I do have some important information that I would love to get out to you tonight if my Wi-Fi works right and everything works good, like it always does, right? Wrong. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Next week, I didn't realize, I didn't even know this. We got a big week coming up. And uh, you will see on my screen, on my thumb, uh, thumbnail, thumb tag, whatever it's called, you put on your screen of your computer, the uh, most anticipated earnings uh, this week. And I am going to be specifically covering Workhorse, Palantir, Bingo, and Dogecoin. There are so many other stocks on this sheet of paper, though, that are of importance, a great importance, and have a lot of um, potential, but I just can't cover them. Um, but I'll tell you the names of them, you know, and you can check them out and then be on the lookout for waiting for if it's going to buy, you know. We've been having a massive sell-off, it seems like, and well, it seems like, I know per, from personal experience, I'm losing money, I'm losing assets, and I know everybody else that I've talked to is losing assets because the stock market just keeps going down. I thought we were gonna have this dip and recover three weeks ago, right? But no, it just keeps teetering, teetering down. But I think this week, by the end of this week, we might see a correction in some sectors, but the EV sector specifically uh, has been hitting and getting smashed, beaten day after day after day. Um, and so uh, it sucks for people that are uh, that own or have high growth stocks. Um, the you know, it's just you got to roll with the punches. Trust me, I was gonna make a video on this just for my for for people to know like the things that I've like done wrong or like the mistakes I've made consistently trying to buy the low, the low, the low, and losing the money and money each time more and more rather than just sitting and waiting for it to get back to your price because there's so much more. <laughs> That's the thing I'm just realizing as I'm talking to you right now. There's so much more room to grow in its future. And I'm just nickel and diming this at this little bit bit of a dollar or two off of its lowest it can possibly get. So what I think. Uh, so let's jump into Workhorse. Workhorse is $9.64. Uh, the expected earnings uh, is $1.50 either to the up or to the down side. So we could see that going down to $8. Uh, we could see Workhorse possibly even going down to $5. That's right, I said $5. And I feel like I'm in an auction show and I'm talking, I got $5, $5. $5. No, I'm not. I don't have a Workhorse and I don't have $5. Uh, but uh, that's its next support level. And that's kind of where it's looking like it's gonna go. Um, but like I said, all EVs are selling off to the downside, downward trend. Um, you, you, we could see Workhorse at $8. ARK Invest, if you want to know, if you were curious, probably not, but maybe you, some of you are, has not sold off their shares of, wor of Workhorse. They have a five-year projected outlook. So they are going to hold on to the stock for five years. And then after those five years, whether, whatever happens, you know, they'll figure, you know, they'll, they'll probably sell them because they have a, like a, pretty much like an algorithm of how they compute their stocks. And they hold them for a certain amount of time and then they let go, find something else, do that, rotate, 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 and that's the game. Um, so Palantir, oh, and we're too late on Workhorse anyway. You had to be on that on Friday. It's announcing its pre. It's announcing its earnings on Monday morning, tomorrow morning. So if you want to get on that more course, get up early and check it out at six thirty and get in on it. 
Otherwise, we can go to Tuesday morning, which will be Palantir, and you can wake up early in the morning too, which I, I suggest would be a much better idea, although I am not a financial advisor. Uh, that's much more of a stock to focus on because there's a lot of people, a lot of companies, a lots of institutions, lots of lots of everything buying into it. I mean, I've got a smile on my face and I'm losing $50 on Palantir and I don't care because I know it's going to go up uh, from some of the things I've been hearing on YouTube videos about some of the stuff that it can do. It's just beyond my belief. And, you know, it's got so many acquisitions that it can go through uh, and partnerships in the future. It's just a great stock. And that stock is $19.75. I'm down $80 on it. Thank you. And I'm about to probably, I don't know, sell it. Maybe not. I don't know. This is, this is a, you know, you, these thoughts go through your head. They go through my head too. You're not alone. You're not alone. And so the downward trend is about $2.20. The expected or the expected move, not a downward trend. The expected move is $2.20. So we can either see Palantir go up to $21, which is, uh, could fairly say that's the price I have it at right now. I feel like an idiot saying that, but you know, we all learn from our mistakes. I'm saying this just so you can feel like you're not alone. That's what my goal is, or that's a goal of mine. Um, but it could go down. It's so it's nineteen seventy five. Two dollars. Let's just say it's two dollars. So seventeen seventy five or seventeen fifty, or possibly fifteen dollars is the low that it could possibly go. And that's right when when these when these uh, earnings go off. You want to be there right there because it dips or it jumps right away. And if you're either going to hold it for the long, I'm going to hold it for the long run. But I want to try to get it as low as possible. So ideally what you do in a position, and I'm going to just say this for myself. Ideally what I would do in a position like this is I would say I have it. I'm going to take my losses, although I'm going to know in the few, if it, if it's gonna be like I'll, I'll sell my stock now for the morning and then wait until Tuesday and well, you know watch it up until Tuesday and then when the earnings is released that's when I take my attack and I buy or sell which I will not be selling so that that's that third one is bingo so another earnings this week is uh lemonade wix wish and then on thursday we have bingo biogenomics uh uh ticker symbol bngo airbnb and then fubu but for uh bingo bingo is five dollars and 41 cents it dropped ten dollars from this 52 week high at 15 dollars um, but there's a new FDA, uh, thing coming out soon, but I don't, that's not going to, I don't think that's going to, that, that won't be in time, uh, before the earnings report. So we could see, uh, bingo go to sell off to $3. It could go to $7. It could go to $3. And I remember doing videos on this a year ago when it was this price and going through this whole run up circle to $15 and making videos on it. So now I feel like I've gone through a full circle. I guess this is May and this is when I started. So yeah, this is where I'm one year of doing this. And uh, the, that stock was really good to me. So. Um, that's just personal experience. Now off to, uh, Blink also is on Thursday. I know people are into EV charging stations and bingo. I mean, Doji, Doji. Wow. It was 75 cents or 71 cents. I don't remember one or the other is too many numbers, but it went down to 42 cents. Then it went up to 55 cents. And now there's a lot of, there was a massive sell-off, which we, I expected 
Uh, but if there was going to be a bad thing, something bad to have, the sell-off would have gone down in 20 to 30 cents, but it didn't, and it held its support, and it, you know, at 40 cents, it stopped somewhere at 42 cents, but I wouldn't be expected to see one more time that it's at 40, you know, it drops down to 40 something cents. So I would have um, a limit by price set out for that 40 something cents in the future, just to catch it if you can. Um, but it's ideal price target is a dollar, like we all know. We all, well, we all, actually, I didn't know that, but yeah, it's, it's a dollar. We all want it to go to a dollar. And so that's what our things, that's what our goals is. And Dallas, Dallas Mavericks, if you want to see a basketball game, Dogecoin, they are taking Dogecoin. And where did I just, then I thought to myself, hmm, DraftKings, that's why Kathy was has been aggressively buying in on that stock because she's expecting for the sports to come back and everyone's being paying Dogecoin pretty soon for all the sports or something. I don't know. We, what are, I, I mean, it, who knows? But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was helpful. Um, you know, um, I, I do this because I love doing this and I want, uh, to help everyone, you know, make money or just be happy with whatever they have, you know? So you can follow me on uh, YouTube at Tuck Notes and on Instagram at Tucker MLO. Check out my blog at hashtag Tuck's blog. Got free stocks at the bottom. And if you do not speak any Spanish, English, I do have a YouTube link to a lady who speaks fluent Spanish and she teaches all stock in Spanish. So pass it on to your homies if you know it. Have a good night. Bye.